My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? James, Zach, everyone watching, I'm doing well. Uh, good weekend. We had some good We've weather. We've been trying to reach you concerning you. How about that spring sprung? Question mark. Uh, and we're hiring, we've hired some new interns, so I've got people to bully in the office. We only hired people under five feet. Wrong. Unless Lennon's two people, you know, uh, little rascals. Thank you kindly, my good sir. Show that scene. Hello, my good man. Little Rascals, great movie, 1994. Best year for movies, Jake. Congrats to Matty Mass on winning the Bino Championship. Fuck that. Can we talk about the sports? It's deleted. Serious topic. Jim, MLB and MLBPA have come to a meeting where they talked about stuff. Uh, They're actually talking about rule changes, which are kind of fun. Banning the shift. Pitch clock, larger bases, 2023. Otherwise, they've gone nowhere else. But these are fun changes. We've talked about these on Talking Baseball ah! a lot. Yeah, I am all for all of these, actually. I am a pro pitch clock. I can't think of a single time I've been watching a game and I said, I wish they would slow down on that mound right there. There's rumors of a 14-second pitch clock, which that would be tight in like an eighth inning pressure pack situation. I wouldn't want to be cutting to the clock. Like getting the ball back and thinking about the 2-2 pitch. Like that gets a little tight. There's going to be growing pains where... You got to have some gentlemen's rules. Well, there's going to be growing pains when... It gets actually like uh, penalized for being too slow. That's going to suck. But once we get to the point where all the pitchers just naturally right. pitch at that pace, that'll be really nice. And the bigger bases don't matter. If you're getting mad about the bigger bases, eat a bug. If you're getting mad about the bigger bases or the pitch clock, eat two bugs. Those things are better for the game and mm-hmm. no one should be upset. The shift open to a lot of opinions there moving on jim let's i'll move us on move us on to, to the almost next one. a breakdown jim i was surprised how juiced up you were about this but i guess it's australia so that always ties you in a little more we've got an underwater crab cam we just saw this this was on zach's desk just playing i dude i like uh nature sometimes because okay. you, when my gardener told me about how the frogs were eating all the snakes mm. and the snakes were eating the frogs in my backyard, and I was like, what's going on in my backyard? This War. same thing. Like, what's truly going on underwater? So check this out. The guy set up a crab cage and then a camera on there. And the coolest part is the crabs are eating the fish, and then an octopus comes, a squid, attacks, gets bullied away and then quickly vanishes to become the color of the rocks or whatever squid changes color octopus i hate octopi i really do they freak me out i don't like how they move okay but do you like that the crab attacks the invisible octopus from the back and when a crab swims it's always like oh you have this in the bag dude yeah two different crabs move like this we attack the camera back to crab the camera so this is cool and I really liked it, and you guys should enjoy it. And I guess he has a website where you can just watch this all the time, which Zach likes watching that stuff. DraftKings, go download it and bet on cycling. Jim, speaking of cycling, this is huge. Cyclists, normally a gentleman's sport, is getting away from it, and cyclists have taken to peeing on each other during races. I would have thought they just pissed themselves, yeah. like how some long-distance r- runners do, but Peter Sagan is pissed. He's 32 He's Slovakian, and he says the younger riders aren't showing the veteran guys respect. He's got some good quotes here. He says, I won't name names, but they just piss in the middle of the pack. Everyone pees on everyone. Disgusting. And the picture, this picture... It's like a good time. Control, like that dude is pissing on that dude. It's a good and time. And that dude is pissing on that dude. There's definitely spray getting on everyone it's a team sport people forget that and he says that collective bathroom breaks from pro cyclists are a thing at least they used to be that's how i have him saying that collective bathroom breaks for pro cyclists are a thing at least they used to be yeah i mean it's kind of funny when you realize this guy's 32 and he's talking like uh how much things have changed like man this sport like you think this guy was 55. I thought he was 55. Yeah. I was shocked that he's younger than us. Yeah, I don't know. And for for me, in a race, if you win it, you win it. Also, if it's teammates peeing next to teammates, that only boosts camaraderie. It's bonding. That's bonding. That's you, male bonding. You make up that time. Speaking of bonding, I have a not sports for you, Jake, that you're going to enjoy. Jim, this is tough because this coincides with me moving to the city and there's all these rumors around it. New Yorkers having noisy sex and complaints 
that are at an all time high. Three one one gets a shout out. Which if you're dialing now, if you're dialing three one one, you are lonely. You've already lost the war. You're just looking for a friend. <laughs> you're jealous of the sex. Three one one is a phone line. It's like the complaints line that they never check for oh. the whole entire city. It's just a bunch of voicemails like, "Oh, we're never going to help you." A thousand but percent. Glad you called us. That's one of the robots that knows human interaction enough to be like, "Oh, sorry to hear we that." We will be on our way to help you. Uh, Queens. Queens. Queens leads the. City city in sex complaints 105 sex complaints coming from queens manhattan in second place brooklyn in third the bronx in fourth and staten island in a distant distant fifth place staten island only had four sex complaints come through no one's having sex in staten island it's a clear threshold of people like staten island no one cares like if they hear sex going on that's a win um I love that Queens, when you really think about it, 103 complaints, like half of those are one person yes. that just hate their neighbor. A lot of the Brooklyn complaints said that they're just orgies happening in the apartment complex's staircase. That was, there was like a lot of complaints that they're just fucking in the staircase. Multiple people. I'd love to know the angles and the diagrams of how that's happening. I looked at apartments in Brooklyn. Don't give him the noise. Give me the same I noise, Jake. I Ed. work too hard at that. Give me the same noise, Jake. I didn't do any... Give, me, give it to me again there. Employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Hey, hey. Jim, this is why I was pissed you gave me a shout out at the start of the show because he didn't deserve it. But Matty Mask gets to be in your belt. Uh, mostly goes to his mom. I was just reading the thing. She motivated him. Yeah, says at the don't start. read that. Matty Mask stole. Actually, Zach stole Jake's belt. or And then Matty Mask now has it. And you know what? He's got the belt in the middle of the office. Yeah. You get off the elevator. He's sharing it with me. You get off the elevator, you look left, and you can see it. I still get to use it. No, you don't. I do. I do. Maddie gave me permission as we're the only champs ever, so... That's Please nice. don't. Yeah, you that can is stay nice. out of our bubble. It is nice how like all um, presidents And we're going to change the playoff format because it is kind of BS. And baseball is doing some of the same thing. You need to reward the elite. So we're getting there. Not happening. It's happening. Not happening. That's the end of the show. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOHNBOY and throw down just $5 on the college basketball game of your choice and get $200 in free bets if the team you choose wins. That's code JOHNBOY at DraftKings Sportsbook. Enough, uh, uh, enough, enough, enough with the rap. Bring the hook right back. Enough with the not sports. Bring the sports right back. Bet you I can make you say shabu boo boo Jake, you're up.